Hi, and thanks for logging on to the Daily Devar Halacha. And here's a brand new halacha for you. And it's for Sunday, the 27th day of April. Here we go. I want to talk to you about today the scheduling of an event that we like to call Bahab. Uh, the way that usually works is is that sometime, and it's not coming this week, that's what I want to clarify, is that sometime after a holiday ends, like a Pesach or a Sukkot, we feel that because we were out of schedule over a Regel, and we were not in our usual routines, it could actually happen that in some ways we didn't fulfill our commands to Hashem properly over the holiday period, and righteous people like to repent for that after the holiday season has passed. And therefore, they wait until an appropriate week after the holiday has, fa- has passed. And then those righteous, righteous people used to fast on the Monday and the Thursday and the Monday that followed after the holiday. Uh, they chose Monday and Thursday and Monday because of a lot of reasons. Those are days that we kind of ramp up our prayers. We say extra tachanun on those days. Uh, their days for, for judgment and things like that. And those were the days that were chosen, the Monday and the Thursday and the Monday that followed after the holiday. And that's how it got the nickname Bahab, because base stands for two, haste, that's Monday, and hay stands for five, which is Thursday, and that second base stands for the second Monday. Now, nowadays, there are probably some righteous people that are still fasting on the days of Bahab, but ordinary people like myself and maybe you listening, some of us do salichos, just extra prayers, on the days of Bahab, and they are found in uh, any good sitter, and on in those prayers, you have to say them, most of them together with a minion at Shul, and they are said after Shemona Esrei, and they take about an extra 20 minutes to half an hour to lengthen the davening on those days, and their extra supplications begging for forgiveness for any wrongs that we could have done over the Yom Tov time. I'm kind of telling you about this a week early, and that's because some people could have mistakenly thought, well, okay, Pesach has passed, here's Monday, uh, let's do it. But what we usually do is we wait until the Monday, Thursday, Monday, that follows after the Rosh Chodesh, after the holiday. So this coming week, uh, it's going to be Rosh Chodesh on... Wednesday and Thursday, and then the appropriate Monday, Thursday, Monday to have the Bahab prayers will follow after the Rosh Chodesh, which is a week and a day away. So Bahab is not this Monday. That's what I'm coming to teach you in a long, <laughs> long bad way. Uh, Bahab is not this Monday, but it's the following Monday when we will say extra prayers, and I'll remind you about that when it gets closer. But right now, warning that it's not this Monday. It's a week away when we're in uh, May already. And uh, otherwise, I should just note, of course, as I just told you, that it's going to be Rosh Chodesh. Rosh Chodesh is coming on Tuesday night and Wednesday and Thursday. And by the time those days arrive, Tuesday night, Wednesday, Thursday, everybody will be keeping uh, the sad time of the Sphira altogether because uh, from Rosh Chodesh, Iyar, and on, then there's going to be like an overlapping of both of the 33-day periods overlap. And everyone who follows these laws will be not listening to music etc. starting from this Rosh Chodesh. Thanks for logging on and log on again tomorrow for more. Bye-bye.